Hello! Today we're gonna show you how to go and build big muscles. So we're gonna show you how to go and train like a man, not like a girly man. So you ever hear about how you have to go and train hard so this way you feel, you feel pain? So if there's no pain, then there's no gain. Well, I'm going to show you the myth about how to build big muscles without having to feel all that pain. Are you ready? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm back. I just watched the Arnold movie. So, like I said, today we're going to talk about the myth, how to go ahead and uh, build big muscles, well, more in, but more in specific, um, the myth about no pain, no gain. Um, is it true? Because a lot of people think you have to work out like crazy. That's why people work out for so long, because they work out like, man, my muscles aren't hurting and I need to like continue to go and keep exercising in order to like feel that pain before I'm done. And that's what like all these old school bodybuilding, you know, mentality is. Hey, let me spend two, three hours in the gym and let me go ahead and work it really long and hard until I just can't move my body anymore. And the next day you can't walk and you can't move. And that's just an awesome workout and that's how you get results. So as you know, with all the myths throughout the years, you know, they kind of get, they kind of, it's not really like they, they're not really lies or anything because they're actually true on some parts. But when it comes to the no pain, no gain, Yes, when you actually work out hard and you get a good workout, a lot of times you feel that pain. So let me go ahead and cover why that is. When you go ahead and get a good workout in, a good workout basically means, in this one it comes to building muscle. It means you're able to work out enough to where you tear your muscle bellies and you tear your muscle fibers enough to where the next day, while they're healing, they, they curse because you literally tore them through your workout. So you have to train hard, you have to train heavy, you have to do enough, uh, enough repetitions, enough sets to where you tear the muscle enough. Doesn't mean you have to work out two or three hours, you can do it in 30 minutes. But the whole point is you have to do it enough and then the next day it feels a little bit of pain. So when it comes to, when it comes to A, do you have to feel pain while you're in the gym? No, if you feel pain when you're in the gym, you're getting injured. So don't feel pain in the gym. You want to feel a good pump, you want to stimulate your muscle, but you don't want to what they call annihilate. That's a Lee Haney quote. He's an old school classic bodybuilder back in Arnold's time. He says you want to stimulate the muscle, not, not, not annihilate the muscle. So when you're working out, no, you should not feel any pain. You should feel good pumps and you should be ripping the muscle apart um, without the pain. The next day after, you'll probably feel some pain, but it should not be the point to where you can't move. Now, if you're a beginner and you just started working out, Yes, you're probably going to go through that pain stage is what I call waking up the muscle. Your muscles are pretty much asleep and when you go through those first good workouts, yeah, you may experience it to where you can barely walk, to where you can barely move because it's really in that much pain. It's actually pretty normal for the first week to maybe about a week and a half of you starting an exercise routine. But anything past that though, you should only feel moderate soreness and it should not be to a point to where you're physically hurting or physically it can't be able to move. Another interesting tip about the pain when you're working out is a lot of guys they do a lot of they do a lot of repetition until they feel the burn and they think oh man I'm gonna go ahead and get ripped I'm gonna go ahead and feel that burn I'm gonna do a whole bunch of bench press I'm gonna do a whole bunch of curls a whole bunch of this and that until you get that burn. Well let me explain what that burn is. When you're working out and you're basically contracting using that muscle your, ba your body lets out lactic acid basically a chemical in your body, and that's where that burn is. The more you pump up your arms, for example, pumping up your biceps, that lactic acid starts to build up there and it burns. Your body's basically telling you, crap, stop. You know, I'm, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to tear my muscle. So that's why it sends a chemical out. Well, when you're trying to go ahead and build muscle size, the last thing you wanna do is create that lactic acid because you wanna be able to do low enough reps and heavy enough weight to where it do, you don't create that acid. You only create that lactic acid with the rep range are about 14, 15, and up. So if you ever see somebody go, and then we go and do a burnout, and we do like 20 reps or 30 reps, they're not gonna be building any muscle. It's basically treated as cardio. So don't worry about ever doing that to feel that burn. Just worry about basically contracting the muscle and doing it till your muscles can't do it anymore, and then stop. So don't worry about that whole uh, you know, burning sensation. That has to do with lactic acid has nothing to do with actually building muscle. You actually want to go ahead and not create that lactic acid in any part of your body when you're trying to build bigger muscles and when you're trying to build more muscle. Anytime you build that lactic acid, that basically means your repetition is too high. Now, if you are questionable on how you're doing the exercises and your form is not that good, 
it's okay to go ahead and build some lactic acid, make it burn a little bit, because your, your goal right now is not to build more muscle, is to really work on the form so you can build more muscle in the future. So more tips and uh, techniques and the full workout, check out sixpackshortcuts.com, and uh, see y'all guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.